everybody this is Chad from Stig's blog I'm Stig and today I want to talk to you about what you're seeing here on the camera now obviously this uh, this item is called the stick pick and uh, as you can probably tell from looking at the picture the stick pick is basically a way to secure a camera on the end of a trekking pole using this device here now this device here was designed by two guys named Rod and Dave I'm not sure how long they've been around but I do know that reading on their website and their famously asked questions section uh, in 2008 they handed out a little over 150 of these to the PCT through hikers uh, just trying to get a little bit of feedback on maybe how to improve it make it better but anyway since then they've uh, continued making the stick pick and they've made them better and better and uh, now currently this is the type that they're selling today um, basically like I said just a while ago it's uh, simply the uh, trekking pole tip goes through the hole at the bottom and the camera mounts uh, on this uh, bolt at the top and then you just you basically use it to get pictures and stuff that you might not be able to get uh, using just your arm or trying to set it on a uh, on a tree branch or something and running back real fast you can uh, you got a lot more control and a lot more possibilities and options using the stick pick here with your trekking pole but anyway uh, just a couple of things about the stick pick First off, it's $11.99, uh, $1.61 for shipping and handling anywhere in the U.S. Um, if uh, you want to get it shipped outside the U.S., you can just give them a call and uh, they'll arrange something with you. Um, the stick pick itself is made out of a material called Dale Rim, which is essentially just hard plastic, and then there's a bolt coming out the top. Um, now this, uh, this part right here, I'll show you how it works in just a minute. Uh, it basically goes up and tightens up against the camera and kind of secures the camera in place and then obviously it's got the stick pick imprinted on the front of the, uh, the actual device um, also on the back of it it's got which number it is this one's a number two um, it's very important when you go on the site and you go to buy one that you uh, select the, uh, the trekking pole that you'll be using it with uh, so that means you'll need to know what type of trekking pole that you'll be using it with because uh, they have seven different uh, stick picks and different ones fit different size trekking poles so it's very important that you uh that you get the right one uh they did say that if you don't see your trekking pole listed on the site get in contact with them and they'll send you uh, a sizer in the mail with a return label and you can size your trekking pole and uh you can order the proper one that would work with that trekking pole and then just simply return the uh the sizer back to them so that they can reuse it instead of just throwing it in a landfill so anyway, um, as far as the stick pick itself, it comes with, uh, of course, it comes with the stick pick. It came in this little bag, uh, marking what number it was, and it came with, uh, these were the instructions, and then this was the little label stapled to the top of the bag. Now the instructions, they're uh, really simple to, uh, to follow. Uh, kind of hard to say, I ain't got much room to get back, but I mean, it's just a couple of instructions and it's really simple to follow. And then on the back, just uh, it's got some different hints and stuff for using it and just kind of explaining how it works. And two things I just want to mention on the back basically, they talk about how the stick pick was ideally uh, invented uh, for using with a digital camera, but some of the lightweight, uh, larger SLR cameras can work with this. Uh, but one thing you want to take into consideration is the weight and rather than having your trekking pole extended all the way out it's a better idea to kind of make your trekking pole shorter so that uh, more of the weight is not weighing down on the very end of the trekking pole extended and it won't fall off uh, and then also it talks about uh, different cameras have different um, wide angle focal lengths they made the stick pick and it kind of fits right in the middle of most of those cameras focal lengths but sometimes uh, part of the trekking pole may be seen in the uh, and the video that you're shooting or the camera or the picture that you're shooting and of course two different easy ways to get rid of that is just simply zoom in just a little bit or to actually shorten your trekking pole and that'll take care of that so anyway enough about that just kind of show you uh, how simple it is to use like I said um, the uh, stick pick it's not very hard to use at all oh I didn't say uh, according to the website this thing weighs I think 10 grams I weighed it on my scale at home and that's what I got uh, which is uh, 0.4 ounces so it's not very heavy at all a little less than half an ounce um, and it's just a really neat thing to have um, so anyway I just kind of show you how simple it is to use the uh, first thing they say is to uh, of course uh, thread it into the bottom of your camera and uh, you, they want you to make two full turns well if I can get it started hard to do this at this angle 
But anyway, you make two full turns and you stop with the stick pick facing out towards you. Once you do that, you just take this up, you screw this up and you secure it. And after you do that, you just simply stick it on the end of the trekking pole and they tell you to make sure you kind of rock it back and forth because uh, you want it to make a, you want it to seat real well and you want it to get real secure. You don't want the camera falling off. And I'm gonna uh, do this right here. And I will say uh, both the stick pick and, and the trekking pole that I'm using this with is brand new. Um, I'm gonna make sure. I have found that you got to put quite a bit of force on it to make sure it stays. But whenever you get done, uh, this is simply what you have here. Uh, your camera mounted to the stick pick and then the stick pick on there and it's kind of it's kind of secure on there but now one thing that they do mention is to take your uh, cord from your camera and uh, to secure it around the trekking pole um, one neat way to do it is if you have a cord lock you can just kind of wrap it around there put it around there and then cinch that cord lock you could cinch that and that would have it secured but just any way to secure it that way if for some reason this does fall off um then uh you know it'll still be attached to the trekking pole and it won't hit the rocks and it won't bust up your camera so anyway uh that's the stick pick like i said uh if you're interested in one i would highly uh recommend you going and looking at one for the price it it really can't be beat and honestly this is just one of those little things that are just like according to the website it even says it like uh wow why didn't i think of that one thing too I want to uh, point out is if you'll look at the uh, the way it uh, sits, this right here is flat, but this is the actual bolt coming out is at an angle, which makes the camera sit back a little bit. But what I found out is that your natural position of your hand when you're holding the camera out, your hand is actually going to be pointed upright just a little bit. And what that does, whenever you hold it, the uh, the stick pick is now at somewhat of an angle because the trekking pole is going up but what that does is that makes the actual level of the uh, bottom of the camera kind of stand up and be flat and then it's kind of uh, right on with you it's uh, it's kind of level but anyway um, that's the stick pick if anybody has any questions uh, go and check out the website they've got a bunch of uh, information on the website and of course uh, if there's anything that you don't see on the website uh, you can give them a call talk to them um, but anyway, if you're interested in it, I would suggest you at least pick it up and look at it. Like I say, at half an ounce, you won't even notice it's hardly in your bag. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time.